Hi guys, welcome back to the Chan Chan. If you know where that's from, comment down below. Last week, last week, I told you guys to send me assumptions you have about me. Boy, did you send them. Like, like 200 something of you sent them in. That is more response than I think I've ever gotten to anything before. Usually like, you know, like about 50 people send things in when I'm asking for like Q&A stuff or, or whatever. But like, 150 of you sent them in this time. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so. So here is reacting to assumptions you all have about me. So to start with, I'm just, I, obviously we're not gonna be able to get through all of them, but I picked some, uh, uh, just some kind of at random. I just picked some at random, but before we get into it, here's just a large selection of assumptions that you all have about my dick. We're back. And so the first one, um, I'd say that, yeah, I probably, I, I'd say that I have a good smell. Uh, I have an obsession with smelling good. I always have deodorant on me at all times. I use a lot of scented body lotions and stuff like that. Um, also, I don't really sweat, uh, like ever, so. I shit glitter. Well, I don't want to give away any of my secrets, but... Yes. Well, I'm definitely one of those things. <sighs> good! Everyone should go watch the documentary. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good, and I think it does a pretty good job of explaining... Yep. I actually am a great little spoon. I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm a great little spoon. I love to be the little spoon. And it doesn't matter if you're only four foot 10. I will still be the little spoon, even though I'm six one. You know, it's interesting because I, I find that most people don't say that I'm unapproachable. Uh, but if you've ever seen me at a club, at the bar, performing, doing my thing, doing my gig, Feel free to come up and talk to me. You don't have to be like, feel like I'm not gonna talk to you, that I'm gonna be mean or anything like that. Um, you know, as long as you don't come up to me and try and stick your hands down my pants, we're probably gonna be fine and probably gonna get along just fine. Feel free to come up to me, say hi. I really am not the meanest person ever, despite the fact that I'm pretty mean, but like, come say hi. I will definitely say hi to you. I will never not say hi to you. Uh, Send me a message, I do my best to respond to messages, and I do my best to like and comment uh, and respond to every single person who uh, comments on my stuff, whether it be Instagram or Twitter or uh, Facebook. I do my best to respond to people, and I will always say hi to you. And So don't ever feel like you can't come up and say hi. I will always take pictures with people, so. Um, I mean, it's not like I could really say whether I am or not. Um, of the people that I've, you know, you know, whatever. Uh, no one's ever complained, but on the same note, you know, like I, I'm not like super into sex or anything like that. So take that how you will. Uh, no, I don't. I, I know who this is too. Like these are all blacked out, but I know who they are. Uh, well, I know who some of them are. I don't remember who all of them are because I've, this was a while, but I know who this is. Uh, no, I, I don't hate you, and I don't pay your attention, you're fine. I'm just really busy, and I get a lot of comments, and I get a lot of messages. Um, so if I feel like I'm not getting back to you, it's not that I'm 
I'm ignoring you or anything like that. It's probably that I, I you know, I either missed it or, you know, I, I meant, uh, either I, I meant, I might have meant to respond to you and I just didn't. You know, I get a lot of notifications every single day, so, you know, it's just a constant thing for me. So don't feel bad if I don't get back to you, if I don't respond to you immediately. I will eventually get back to you. Just keep messaging me. I promise you guys, like, if, if you guys feel like I'm not getting back to you or you want me to get back to you, just keep messaging me. Eventually, I will get back to you. Keep liking things, keep commenting on things. I, I do my best to acknowledge everyone. Uh, I have a lot of things in the world, but a dominant is not really one of them. Uh, I'm very aggressive as a person, like it's in my personality trait that I'm very aggressive, um, but I actually quite, uh, I shy away from actual sex quite often, despite the fact that I make a lot of sex jokes and that I'm a very like body positive kind of person. Uh, I, I shy away from sex quite often uh, and sex acts, they're uh, intimidating to me and I don't, you know, let's see. sorry. Um, I get this a lot. A lot of people think I, I do, but I really don't. If you've ever seen me perform in person, if you've ever gone to a club where I've been performing, um, you know that 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 you know that's how it looks in person. It's the same size, um, and if you you know on certain photos, you can you can definitely see what's going on there, and you can definitely tell that it's not stuffed, um, and that's just that's just the reality of it. Is that you know. Yeah, I can see how in some photos it might look that way, but it's not, and that's just that's just my, my wiener. Uh, I don't have an OnlyFans, first of all. Um, I don't do uh, porn or or nudity. That's just not in my thing, uh, my, my repertoire of things that I do. I do a lot of stuff, but that's not one of them. Uh, my Patreon is not nudity, so you don't see, get to see my dick on my Patreon. Sorry to anyone that might disappoint but you do not. Um, it's just, uh, you know, like a private members only blog interactive thing, you know, it's, that's, yeah. Uh, but if you can't afford my Patreon, I don't know, it's only a dollar. There, like there's literally a setting for a dollar a month and that gets you access to everything on my Patreon. So, um, probably, uh, we're, we're, we're pretty cutesy that way and I'll, smothery lovey-dovey so and I'm a I'm a hopeless romantic so uh, yeah probably uh never well that's real sweet of you and you don't have to because like I said earlier there's a documentary yeah for some reason people still do um I want to say yes I'd like to believe that personally uh, a lot of my friends do come to me when they have problems uh, I've had friends <laughs> since I was like 12 that I still talk to and still come to me. Uh, you know, I've had friends for a very long, long time. Most of my friends are long-term friends. People I've known for years and years and years and years and years. Uh, I'd like to believe that they would come to me if they needed something. Uh, I make an ass out of myself all the time. Have you seen my Instagram? No. Uh, no. Hey guys, so uh, the footage, I guess, the camera stopped recording at some point, so like half the video that I did didn't get recorded. Um, that's okay, the video was getting kind of long anyway, and there was already a lot of editing, and I read it in for too long, and I've been putting off filming this last little bit to uh, upload, so I might as well just end it here, because I have other videos to make, I have other things to do, um, and I'm just too busy to keep going on and go back and re-record. So, thank you to everyone who sent in assumptions. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for sending in everything. Uh, you guys were great. Um, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Wow.